pick and erratic um, operates in the refrigeration and air conditioning market. Has been in business um, as one company for 67 years, um, Pick and Erotic Limited, um, and um, about 17 each of the um, each of the separate subsidiaries. Um, we operate in the refrigeration and air conditioning market, um, so we service, maintain, install um, refrigeration or air, air conditioning equipment. Okay, I'm Sarah Jane Ashford. I'm um, finance director of Pitkin and Ruddock, um, and I've been with the business for 22 years now. Um, the business was initially set up by my granddad um, back in 1956, and um, so I'm third generation. My dad, mum, and dad are also and have been involved in the business, um, and now I'm here. So. Um, so yes, I basically oversee all of the finance um, department. <laughs> My name's Sophie Bell. I'm the financial controller here. I've actually only been with the company for eight months. I started in January and one of the main tasks for me to start here was to bring in a new accounts package, which obviously now we've successfully done with Sage Intax. And that was part of my remit to look at different packages. And obviously, as a previous Sage user, I was keen to look at what Sage could offer. And it was great to find that they could offer this uh, Sage Intact package. Um, we really needed, I think we'd basically outgrown our previous package. Um, we had a setup where we operated um, each company was in a separate file so we then had to go in and out of each file to get information that we needed which was obviously frustrating and time consuming for the account staff. Um, I think we'd outgrown it and it was getting very slow. Um, we were also double handling a lot of information which is you know inefficient and time consuming um, so we were looking for something which would cater more for our needs now. We were looking for a multi-entity um, system that could allow us to sort of have our suppliers all in one place so we wouldn't need to go into five different companies and have five separate suppliers and then when we were doing payment runs sort of trying to amalgamate all that information together Sage Intact has given us that ability to obviously have a multi-entity company but actually it's all in one singular place which has made it uh, far more streamlined for us as a business. Um, we really needed to find um, a system that we could report. We were looking to report profitability on jobs, which previously had been a very manual um, system and took a really long time um, and wasn't very up to date either. So we really wanted a system almost at the touch of a button where you could have, have information, how long the job had taken compared with budgeted hours, um, how much we'd spent compared with budgeted materials. And um, so that was one of the areas. There's quite a few areas we were looking for a better system, but that was certainly one of them. Um, um, we were hoping to have um, have a system that um, I think just gave us more options in terms of reporting. Um, we a lot of our processes take a long while and really involved using our previous accounts package to extract the information out of. But then we would have to do a lot of um, manipulation of it to get it to get the information we want and I think there's a lot more that Intact can give us um, in terms of reporting that we probably haven't even found yet. Uh, a system that was easy to use I think that's really important that when you transition systems especially um, in the previous system here at Pitkin and Radical, I think I've been been in use for about 10 years so obviously it's then making that change and obviously the, your members and staff need to make that change with you so it was important to find something that was quite easy to use um, allowed the ability to do multi-entity which is the most important thing about Sage Intact is integration with other systems and I believe that there's an ability to perhaps move into integrating with our other systems that we're introducing from an operational point of view, which is a system called Job Logic. So we're now looking into bringing that into our systems. We're also streamlining things like our purchase order to invoice processes and things like that. So just tightening that up. And I think most importantly, getting better processes. And I think the old system was sort of a little bit clunky and a little bit slow to, uh, 
you know, and obviously we were doing things like Sarah Jane mentioned earlier, a bit of double handling and things like that. So just sort of stop doing that because that's where you get manual integration, you get errors. So the more the system can do, the better it will be for us as a business. Yes, for for yeah, me, yeah. that was someone that I, I know that I could probably pick up the phone and ask a silly question. So, so things like a good relationship. So I, when I first contacted ITAS, I'll be honest, I Google searched the business partner and I looked up a number of different uh, companies and one of them was ITAS. And I picked up the phone, I got a really good, quick response, a really good, long, frank conversation about what we needed as a business what the challenges we have were facing at the time and what we were using in our old system and what we wanted from our long-term goals. So, and I just found the conversation to be very easy. And I thought as a company that we'd find it very easy to ring up and ask for support and help and no questions, a silly question. Yes, the, uh, we did have support um, from our previous um, accounts package. Um, it didn't tend to quite be as immediate, um, which sometimes we've obviously found if we've asked something, somebody has come back to us the same day um, to reply or respond um, with some help. Um, but also the the actual help on the on the package when you when you look up. Um, is is actually much more useful because it does actually seem to have the answers on there as well as as well as speaking to someone if you really can't find it um yes the help center seems really good as well yeah and having someone like jake and nathan work with you as a business they sort of learn your company and learn what you do and what you need out of the system so as they're building that relationship up with you they understand what you need from the system so then having that moving over to obviously go live and then obviously having that part of the time where they're still there with you learning the system and then you move over to support I think that just knowing that say they are there who understand your business that actually the support team if it's not Jake someone's nearby to Jake and they say oh you know pick and run it can you I've just got this question and how did you set that up so we tend to get our answers quite quickly and they are like you said they supply guides and you've got this brilliant help and support um guidance within the, the Sage Intac package. So you've sort of got a bit of a double whammy in the fact that you've got ITAS to help you and Sage Intact with their help and support. So yes, another key area um, was also being having remote access. Our previous package was on a server, um, which meant if you were in the office, you could log into it. Um, if you were out of the office, um, which I work remotely um, often, you couldn't unless someone else wasn't using their computer and you could log in via their computer to the package, um, which obviously doesn't work during the day because they're on their computer using it. So so intact, absolutely, yes, we, we can log in online. You can be absolutely anywhere and, and get access to your files. And from that point of view, it's fully backed up. Um, we were previously um, obviously storing on hard drives and having to take them out of the building and take them home and remember to do it on a Friday or every day. And, um, and yeah, so, so from that point of view, that's another thing that Sage and Tapt has um, yeah, really solved a problem that we had there. Yeah, I've even logged on it on my phone. <laughs> I've even managed to get on on my phone because I think I've gone home and realised that I thought, did I do that or not? And then I've gone, rather than say, I might not have a laptop with me, but I've got my phone and I've been able to log on to up Intact and just having that. And that's going to allow us to have that ability to, when we go out to branches, to have that ability to have that on-spot information there and then. They ask us a question, they want to look at an invoice, it's all there, it's all attached, everything's backed up, we don't we're now becoming paperless mm. so we we don't print out any of our, our invoices we um obviously input an invoice from a purchase order and we convert that into an invoice and then we attach that invoice so we've gone completely paperless within the office to try and stop you know the extra cost and obviously to be sustainable so i think that's a really and just knowing that you can go to site and say oh i want to have a look well this is how much they charged them and this is who we got it from it's there it's instant and it is literally really quick to respond 
there's no sort of waiting around, is there? No, no delay. Well, we, we are now able to import into the system um, our purchase order numbers and information, our job numbers, um, rather than having to manually enter those. We were really entering them twice, basically, because we were putting them on another system that we have and then re-inputting them into, um, into our accounts package. Um, we can now export the information, import it directly into Intact, um, so there's obviously a saving there and and less less um, room for error. So yeah, certain processes are far more streamlined. So certainly from the purchase ledger point of view, that we're not printing off invoices. We used to then look at an invoice on the database system, pick up the purchase order number, get the code from that, then import it into our old package. It's all imported in. So all the coding's been set up in the background and imported in, and then that's literally convert to invoice. And that is literally as simple. Import the invoice date and the um, invoice number, and then you're done. As I said earlier, we, we're looking really to um, to get some more up-to-date information on jobs because jobs tend to run and it wouldn't be till a month later that we would perhaps know what our costs were from the previous month um, or our time, how much labour was spent on a job. Um, so we're really hoping by using this that we are actually going to almost be able to press a button and say, well, yes, this is the materials, here's the, you know, here's, because we're entering our purchase invoices on a daily basis um, and some of that information wasn't coming through to us for possibly a week or two. Um, so yes, we, we're hoping that it's obviously going to um, going to just enable us to be more up to date with those processes. And accounts production should be we're going to close off each month, which we weren't doing previously. So preparing the accounts will mean we haven't got to adjust a year's worth of worth of work. We should be up to date each month with what we're doing. There's certain ways that we used to do things that, like you said, the payment run used to take potentially two people a day, day and a half. So now it takes one hour. So you've got time to say, well, actually, that person could then do this part of the job or we could do this now instead of, you know, can you yeah. start pre paying some invoices out and getting them to... I think it's actually a good development tool for our staff as well because we can then open up their ability to do more from a financial point of view. Well, I, I think just from the initial meeting, I think we knew, didn't we, that it would give us probably so much more functionality than our current, our previous accounts package because it was, because that was five separate companies, there was always constraints that you couldn't, you'll never fix because of the system being not as one, it would be five separate entities. You know, the fact that the customer could phone up and then we'd have to say to them, oh, can you just hang on a minute? We'll just have to log out of this system and log into another one. It's all those kind of things just, you know, from the customer service point of view, it's made yes. a massive yes. difference in the fact that you can get the answer there and then. You're not then putting someone who's a customer on hold or if they want to make payment and it's across all the entities, you've got the information there and then. Yes. It's, it's just being able to share that information and obviously have that information on point there and then. So I think just from the initial um, conversations and what we could see from the demonstrations of Sage Intact, we could see the improvements that would make for us financially for, as a business. We had a very clear, I guess from the beginning, a very clear setup of, um, you know, over the eight weeks, this is what we're going to need by this point. You know, we're going to need this done by this point. Um, and as I said, there were um, we had a weekly meeting with ITAS just to catch up, um, to make sure we were on target for any deadlines, to obviously renegotiate um, if we needed a bit longer on a certain task, you know, and a bit and a bit less time on something else, um, which really worked, I think, because it we could take into account what we knew we 
because obviously throughout this we've had to carry on with our normal functions as well as getting all this sorted out so we kind of knew what we what uh, what deadlines we had internally as well as externally with you guys so I think it was really handy to have some um, it almost felt like we were the only people ITAS was working with so it was yeah very individual for us and um, yes yeah, really lovely to have a friendly team at the other end and friendly faces on camera or on the other end of the phone if we needed. ITAS understands your account and needs because they understand as a financial person what you need out of the system so that's their experience in financial transactions and things like that really helps with understanding what you're trying to do as a person and <laughs> getting that information out correctly and doing and processing it correctly. So I think that's really important as well, isn't it? Yes. I think well, I think it was about the April, yes. March, April. So I think yeah. it was certainly late March, early April, we decided to go with the fast track implementation. So that meant obviously finalising everything on our old system from the 30th of June and moving everything over the 1st of July. Obviously you have timelines in the fact that you're still processing things at the beginning of July, but obviously we went with the fast track. We just had to get things like all our suppliers, where we had duplicate suppliers across four or five different entities. You obviously then had to amount and make that into one system. So there was a lot of work in the fact that obviously we didn't want to have double suppliers or anything like that, but we got this configuration file that we could use to obviously put all of that data in, and then that was sent to ITAS. Uh, to then import everything that we needed. And the great thing was, is we had about eight weeks of a test company. Um, so we could then go in, work out what we actually needed from the system. So there was things like the items and things like that. We didn't think we'd ever use, but actually it turned out we did need that. Yes. And we had to think about, but that gave us an idea of actually what we could use the system for. So I think that test company is a really important part of anybody's implementation i think that's even if you go fast track or you don't go fast track having that test company to have that ability to say well okay this is how we think we want to set it up and it could be completely something completely different and i think that really did help us go forward yes Definitely, I think, because we changed the way we were going to, um, as Sophie mentioned, look at some of the areas um, and how we could set them up in terms of what we wanted to get out of the system for reporting purposes. And if we hadn't have had that to look at, I guess we may have set it up one way and then realised we couldn't look at something which was important to look at in future. So, um, so yes, it was really useful, the, um, the configuration files and also the test site. So the actual go live was pretty, I would say, pretty straightforward because a lot of that work has been built up during the time in that configuration file. So things like your opening balances and things like that, you just put into a second part of the configuration file to say these are all your opening balances from your nominal ledgers and the general ledger and they're all imported in and all your supplier balances. So I thought that was a really simple process. Yeah. And I thought, I was worried about the deadlines, but actually it's, it's more your old system, getting it to integrate with the new system. So I think it's, as long as you have good preparation for that, I think that's quite a simple process. It was really useful actually to clear out a lot of the data that we didn't need in the old system to cleanse it almost because we needed to move it into a new system and we didn't want any rubbish in the new system basically. <laughs> I think you should choose ITAS um, as a SAGE partner because they are extremely friendly. Um, right from the offset when I contacted and they asked about the business and what we needed as a business, what our uh, long-term goals were from an accounting package and just obviously the friendly service and the fact that I knew that when I engaged with them that I could pick the phone up at any time and ask silly questions and they would be answered. They were really quick in their response. The fact that they gave us excellent support with when we moved over from our fast track, track implementation and just the fact that they were a really engaging business part and I found that for me that they were our number one choice. Yes, a very friendly and down to earth and also not pushy um, with in terms of what 
um, ITAS was selling us. Um, it needed to work for us. And um, yes, I found it, it was really good to find a partner that we could work with um, that would, would basically try and tailor everything to our needs um, and how much we could spend. And um, from that point of view, ITAS was great. I think, I, I've got to admit, I didn't know about Sage Intact until I started digging around. I don't think it's a system that, I mean, you know, the likes of Sage 200, Sage 50, they're very well-known Sage packages. This is a system that, until I knew that we needed a multi-entity system, I didn't know it even existed. So I think it's a really important thing that actually Sage gets it out there. And I think, I don't know how many other businesses use it that potentially are not aware that there is this multi-system entity system out there to use. And I think for us, because we are those five separate entities, that we needed this system to allow us to do what we wanted. Oh yes, definitely. Yes, yes, without yeah. a doubt. Just um, absolutely time saving, um, suited down to the ground to our business so that we could change it to be what we wanted it to be. Um, and yes, in the, in the future, it will be amazing for the reporting that we need to get out of it in a quick manner and um, you know a timely manner and enables us to do so much more with the information we had but didn't realise what we could do with it.